Hey guys, Bart from TSC Industries here. In this video, we're gonna show you the installation of our Gen 2 flasher relay on a Honda CBR 600 RR years 2007 to 2012. Now, I hope you have this bike and you're watching this video because you have a hyper flash situation with your signals. If you don't have this bike, if you're looking for this kind of a fix on another bike, I invite you to check out the flasher relay playlist on our YouTube channel where we have more of these videos. So in this video, we're gonna focus on this bike. And uh, if you guys wanna see other videos, please check out that playlist. This bike is very, very simple. This is one of my favorites to do this mod on. And uh, let me show you real quick the situation that we have here. We've changed the OEM signals to aftermarket LED type signals. We're drawing less current from our signaling system that results in a faster flash rate. Now you can add resistors, in parallel with each one of the signals on your bike. But that's cumbersome, it's time consuming, and it's just not a very pro professional solution. So what we offer is our Gen 2 flasher relay that is a plug and play component. Um, the OEM one can be found under the seat right behind the battery. We're gonna dive into that in just a second. Uh, the other thing I wanna mention is that these units from TST Industries are adjustable. If you slip off the cover, you can access a little potentiometer here and turn it one way or the other to adjust your flash rate just to fine tune it to what you would like. If you're like me and you just want to slow down your flash rate to the OEM rate, which is 85 cycles per minute, the way these come, they're already pre-configured to 85 cycles. You just plug them in and then you're done. So now, let's dive into the install. Like I said, this is very simple. Two bolts right underneath the seat here. Peel back the seat, five millimeter Allen. And actually it's five millimeter Allen only if you still have the OEM hardware here. I've seen a lot of bikes with this hardware already replaced. All right, we'll remove the seat, put it to the side, and now we can identify the OEM relay. It's right here. You have your battery, you have your fuse box, servo, and it's located right here. You slip your fingers underneath it, pull it up, and it'll come out with this rubber keeper. And then this is a Sumitomo type plug, so you need to access the side that has the tab that you'll need to press down on. So this tab here will need to be pressed to clear from the lock. And that will withdraw it from the plug. I also like to handle the plug that we're withdrawing from with my fingers here so I don't pull against the wires. All right, so once this guy comes out, we'll need to extract the rubber keeper because we will reuse that on the TST Industries unit. So, first we will put our packaging into the rubber keeper. We have the same sort of tab on the back of our enclosure that fits into this keeper. Makes it really easy to reassemble. And then you simply plug that in. And that will go back on the plastic tab that is on your sub tray. And now this will be done. Let's go ahead and test the system. As you can see, we've restored the 85 cycle per minute OEM rate. And for people like myself, this installation will be done. Obviously, replace the seat, replace the hardware, and then you're done. But now, what I would like to do is show you guys how to adjust it in the event that you wanna be fancy and you want a slightly faster or slightly slower flash rate. So, again, on the bottom, where the red meets the gray, there are tabs here that you can use a small flathead screwdriver on and just pry them up and over. And that will pop out the red cap. And now withdraw circuit board. <clears throat> and we will need to plug this into this plug here on the harness. Now one important thing before you power up the system, I'll make sure none of these 
circuit components or any connectors or any any exposed metal on the circuit board you don't want to ground that out you don't want to touch it to any other part of the bike so what I'll do is just handle this in my hand making sure it doesn't make contact power up the bike turn on the signal that I'm trying to adjust and go clockwise slows down the flash rate pretty dramatically and you go counterclockwise all the way to the other stop you get really 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 fast flash rate so at this point you just figure out flash rate that works for you that one seems to make it all right for me power down the bike Take the circuit board out of the plug, grab the enclosure, and now slide the circuit board back into the enclosure. And there's a proper way of doing that. On this enclosure, we have a channel on one side that accepts this, uh, this circuit board. If you were trying to do it any other way, it just doesn't fit. So pretty self-explanatory there. You pop it in bottom it out and then replace the red portion plug it back in seat it on the tab test the system one more time making sure everything fits prop uh, sorry everything functions properly and you want to make sure that all your system signals are functional and now you are ready to go. You just replace this seat. All right, it's as simple as that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have questions or comments, please place them below the video in the comment feed. Other than that, the bike's ready to go. See you guys next time.